Good morning guys, Ray Duggan here. Today I'm going to show you how to make Yorkshire puddings using a bumix and a tower oven. So it's just a packet Yorkshire pudding mix. Get a bowl. Yeah. I'm not trying to teach you how to. I'm not trying to teach you how to cook eggs. I'm just trying to make it easy for people to look after themselves and the kids. So you just put that into the bowl. Yeah. Got one egg already. One egg. There is an egg on this. Yeah. One egg. Tip that straight in there. Straight in the sink. Get your bammocks. Get the area made, wherever it is, that one. You, you can actually, you can use either and it'll work fantastic. Uh, sorry my arm's in the way. I'm, use, I'm actually using my laptop. Right, when you change these blades, make sure your hand is nowhere near these power buttons, yeah? Normally, you turn the power off or unplug it. Yeah, and then you just click that on, clip that on. Yeah. You take 200 mils of water, tip that in. You then select low speed. Make sure when you're using the bumix that you end is covered and then you just put it on slow speed yeah, and just keep turning the bowl And if it sticks on the edge, just stop, take your bammock and just scrape it down from the edges. Yeah. Now I'm doing this the easy way that every one of you housemasters or housewives will be able to do while you're looking after your kids. You're not going down the store and spending 30 quid on um, menu items that you use once and then leave it in the back of the cupboard because you never ever use it again. You, and you should see, you should see lots of bubbles. Forming. You want to get as much air as possible into the mix. You might have to tip the bowl. Right, give me a second. Take your water bowl. Just slide that on there for now. Let's see how much you can see. Well, I'm uh, just testing. Right, you're going to have to get a, a spoon. Yeah, just get a spoon. Just uh, get the stuff from around the edge. Uh, I think I've got most of it. Wipe uh, the spoon off with your clean cloth. Right. If I can 
Uh, in the mix. We go back to your uh, bamix. Put that back in the middle. Yeah, and go high. Second, I'm going to cheat. I am right next to the sink, but what I know is now don't, don't do that. You see what I done? Because I wasn't looking what I was doing. I was trying to be smart. I've now, I've now tipped the bowl over. Don't leave your blender stick in the thing because when you move away, it'll fall. I'm not going to edit this, I'm just going to. Upload it. I want you to see exactly what can happen when you don't concentrate on what you're doing. Yeah. Always keep a microfiber cloth handy. Yeah. As I said, always. Turn the power off. Yeah, and give it a quick swipe. Yeah. Clean that. Now I've got a whole kitchen. You think I want I'm not gonna edit this, you know? I want you to see even professionals have accidents in the kitchen. There you go. I'm not I'm not a working professional chef. However, I am a qualified fitting girls chef and steward. Uh, right. Now back to my bowl. It's okay, it's okay, don't worry about it, because uh, I've still got most of the mix, which isn't a problem. Put the tower on, select two rows, you want to put it right up to 200 degrees, you want 20 minutes. Just set it for 22. Actually, make that 32. Right. You get a normal, regular to go container. Get your Spray oil. Just get your regular spray oil. Yeah. Now go over your sink and just just spray the container. Put that in there. Take your mix. Pour that in there. Get your spoon back. Go. 
put it in your oven. And we'll be back in half an hour. We'll now give that 30 minutes. As you see, nothing doing yet. Yeah? 